I am so excited that you're here with us today. It's Thursday. It's a sports day and I'm wearing my Browns jersey. No, it's a jersey. It's a sweatshirt. Because guess what? I woke up today in Cleveland, Ohio and we had snow. I looked outside. I couldn't believe it. It wasn't just a dusting. It was an inch or two out there. So it's slowly melting. I'm really hoping that was the end of the snow for the season. And today we're going to do sports silhouettes. I have so many ideas for you guys that I didn't want to pick one sport again, because you're going to customize it. That means make it your own, make it personal to what you like. You like football. Joe said, I look like I'm ready to tackle somebody. You know why they wear these black lines? It's supposed to prevent the glare from the sun going in your eyes. So Joe's a football player. I was trying to find some. He's a football player and a basketball player. Richie used to play soccer when he was real little. And I just couldn't find any pictures of them. So anyway, I have some ballerinas in silhouette form. I have a soccer player. And if you were watching yesterday, I asked you guys to either draw some silhouettes print out some silhouettes if you have a computer printer. And if you don't have a computer printer, you can trace it with a piece of computer paper on the screen. You can hold, you know, hold the paper up to the screen and you just Google uh, free silhouettes in whatever sport it is that you like or dance. And then you have that outline ready. The background can be whatever you want it to be. And again, I'm going to show you a few. Yesterday when we were practicing, and I'm Denise, by the way. Yesterday when we were practicing, I did, by request, some golf. And I have a golf silhouette artwork here. I showed it yesterday, but I'll show you guys again. So just notice the background. This one's like lighter green with a little bit of blue sky. And there are four different positions. So I used four different silhouettes on free images. And then yesterday... Now this is not a silhouette, but I drew this yesterday while we were here and then I painted it afterwards and that was the outcome of it. So what I'm thinking, so many people want to do this and I thought another day I will show you guys, this, is, this wouldn't look good in just black silhouette. It's too large and you wouldn't see any details. So I'll teach how to paint this another day with, you know, something maybe boy related that is, I know boys can be ballerinas as well, but tap dance, something like that. Uh, and then, but today I'm going to stick more to the silhouettes. I have my little Irish girls. So the, here's some Irish girls dance in the jig. And again, I had glitter. I added some sequins to this. I know there's a reflection on it. Sorry. Um, but three different positions. I added some shamrocks. So you're going to customize it if you want it to be yellow and green if you want it to be blue and white depends on the sports teams that you like again you can make your colors according to the sports team that you like so here's another irish dance artwork and again you can customize it however you choose yesterday we were doing real graphic symbols of different football or different sports football tennis soccer volleyball basketball, baseball, whatever it was that you wanted to do. And that's what we're going to do again today. So I'm going to sketch out. I'm going to warm up a little bit by sketching, warm up our hands, do some sketches. And let me just show you real quick what I do. So let's say I print out a free image. Okay. I look for a football silhouette. And then on the back of it, I either take a dark colored crayon or a pencil and I scribble on the back of it and then I can trace it so I go over it put it on whatever it is that I'm going to trace it on put it on there and trace it with a pencil or a pen and then the image that crayon or pencil gets transferred onto whatever it is I'm tracing on you can also cut it out but sometimes it's a little harder and takes a little bit longer to cut it out depending on how detailed it is so I just want to start with a few since I'm dressed in football I am going to so again I already looked up my Google images and I Scribbled on the back with black crayon. Any dark colored crayon is good. And I traced it on this paper. And now I'm just going to go over it with black marker so you can see it. 
Now you can draw it freehand, absolutely. So if you want to just follow along with me and draw this, this is going to be a football player. So I'm using black marker so you guys can see it on the screen. Otherwise, if I was just sitting here by myself, I would be doing it in pencil. And if you're joining us live for the first time, welcome. There's a lot of videos from the past that we've been, you know, learning different things, a variety of techniques and artists. So I highly recommend, even if you're here today, which I love, go back and rewatch some of the episodes, especially yesterday, because we kind of work our way forward after you learn different things. We actually did the silhouettes before with animals when we did a Wild Wednesday. And I said, you pick your silhouette animals that you wanted to use. And people used rhinoceroses and elephants and giraffes, but you got a dinosaur, but you customize it to what you like. If you don't like football, don't do football. So again, there's a silhouette of, I'm going to guess that's a quarterback. <laughs> uh, oh, let's do, this one's on the back. So let's do this one. Let's see, I'll, I won't tell you what this one is. You guys can try to guess. So Joe and Richie are here today behind the scenes. They're the ones messaging you guys. So if you're watching this live, you can ask each other questions. Or you can ask Richie and Joe. But there's lots of people on here that have been here from the beginning. So they would be happy also to answer any of your questions. The most common question, what supplies do I need? What colors are we using? What are we doing? Am I too late to join? I don't know what's going on. What time does yoga start? <laughs> Did you get the sport? Do you know what that is? So really, I like to say use any supplies you have, okay? Because you're going to have different things than I have. I want you to still do it no matter if you have a pencil, a crayon, colored pencils, magic markers, whatever it is you can use. And you just adapt. And if you look at the photos of everybody, you can see all the different supplies people are using. They call that media. They're different media are supplies. You can use multimedia. That means you can use crayons, color pencils, collage. You can glue things on there and that would be a mixture of different supplies. So there's a baseball. So now we have, you're right, it's a baseball. So football, baseball and again you could paint it in I'm pretty sure Willoughby South is maybe in white so maybe I'll make a football one for Joe Richie goes to University of Dayton maybe gold and blue yellow and blue all right you guys got to guess what this is ready You getting there? I tried to do my hair like her today. So we got a little soccer girl and let's see, did I do any more? 
I did, we'll do one more and then we'll get to the canvas. And again, you can use any kind of, I can use one of these pieces of, this is just a card stock, a piece of tag board. And I was, I had Joe and Richie looking up songs before we started today. So Alexa, play Rocky theme song. I think Rocky even does this. No, 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 all right, do I look like Rocky? I didn't do a boxing. I told you guys, like, oh, I should leave my, I think this is the style now. Every time I see Joe, he's got his hoodie on. So, eh. All right, we'll take the hoodie off. But you get the idea, right? So I'm highly an advocate for music and art together. I think it's really just very relaxing and fun. It gets you going, gets you in a good mood. I cannot watch boxing. I do not like to watch people hit each other. If it ever happens in a movie, I have to shut my eyes. There's a baseball player. Now, again, hockey, horseback riding, anything, ice skating, all the things that I forgot. You guys, I can't do everything, right? But you get the idea. So I want you guys to, if you haven't done your silhouettes yet, you can print it out now. You can trace it now. You can freehand it. The background, again, you're going to customize your background to whatever colors you like. So this one I just covered with different colors of paint. I did vertical brush strokes. I did the entire background first, but I traced my silhouettes out first so I didn't have to wait for it to dry. So you can do it either way. Someone asked me, how do I know what I do? Like, do I paint the whole background first or not? It depends on what you're painting. When I did the ballerina slippers, I painted in the ballerina's legs, the slippers, and then I did the background. But for something like this, I did the entire background and then I painted it in ballerinas. So totally up to you. By now you're like, you're going too fast. Wait, I'm not there. Wait, stop, slow down. No. <laughs> so you guys can catch up later. You do not have to keep up with me. You know, one of my favorite parts is you guys coming on the screen so I actually get to see if somebody's out there watching. And I love to see what you're making. I love you guys messaging me. You can tag me at Artist at Heart Paint Party. You can email me. Go to my website, artistatheart.org. You can see all the photos on there as well. And um, you can tag me, message me, and you can check in. So if you can find the check-in button at Artist at Heart Paint Party, you can check in there and add your photos and comments as well. So, but later on, if you want to come on the screen, all you have to do is tell us where you're from, show us your artwork, you know, show us your family if you want to, which I love. All right, so now I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do a football one here. I'm gonna do football for Joe. So again, I'm pretty sure he goes to Willoughby South. I'm pretty sure that that is navy and white. Now, how else you could customize it? You could put, now this is what I don't know. I should have asked him before we came on the screen. Do you guys always have the same football number year after year? So if you're a freshman, when you have the number 22 and you go to be a sophomore, are you the same number or do they change it? That's how much I don't know about sports. I think professionals always have the same number until they retire it but I'm not sure about kids in high school. So anyway, you could add the number to it. You can do the entire artwork in the colors of whatever team it is. Browns would be brown and orange. Okay, so I'm just gonna, again, I've already printed it out. And again, if you did this, you can color over the back with a black crayon and then you lay it down and trace it onto your canvas. You have to press pretty hard and that transfers the crayon or the pencil onto whatever it is you're gonna create it on. So I'm now I'm just gonna sketch it out, my silhouette onto a canvas. You can use any supplies you have, cardboard, tag board, paper, sketchbook. I'm doing mine big just so you can see it from far away. Mm. 
Okay, so you can do the entire background green. You can do it blue and green, like the sky is blue, right? And the field is green. And you can paint right over that Sharpie line if you want to, which I will because it's quicker. So what I'm gonna do, I'll start with the green and I'm just gonna paint right through my black line. So he's down on the green, right? And I just used two different greens, a bright green and a little bit of a deeper green, but you don't wanna use anything too dark because you want the silhouette to show up. You wanna have contrast. So let's say you wanna do your silhouette white. What if you're doing an ice skater, you wanna make them white? Then again, you would make your background a little bit darker. But I know I'm going to make this, and I could, actually could make the football player navy blue because I think that's the color. But I'm going to do it black because that's what I have on my plate. Now, again, you can add your silhouette later if you want to, once your painting's dry. So I'm using horizontal brush strokes. I love to see the brush strokes. That's what makes it a real painting, not a print, not, you know, something you do on your iPad, which is also very cool. But I, when you're, I'm doing a real painting, I like to see the brush strokes. How high up am I going to go? I'm not sure. I put a lot of green on my plate. Really, I'm just judging by how much plate, paint I have. I don't want to split the canvas right in half because that would not be great composition if you see this one's just below halfway so I'm just gonna go up just a little bit higher but I don't want to split it right in half composition is the layout of the artwork how you design it so I don't want it to be split right in half all right now I'm gonna jump up to my sky mm, I should have put some white on my plate I just have blue And that's a pretty dark blue. I mean, it's not real dark, but it's dark, darker than the green. And again, it won't, the black of the football player won't show up as well. I'm gonna grab some white paint. Now, if you guys are using watercolor, again, you can always add your silhouette later after it dries, because it might bleed. That means blur together. But you can also do it with a Sharpie. So you can, if you're painting all of this in watercolor paint, you can trace over it after it's dry. If you did it while it's wet, it might rip the paper. It might blur it, it might blur, blur the painting. And again, it would be cool. It's an experiment. And if you mess up, you try, try again. And you do it again, and you do it again, and you do it again. And every time you do it, it's gonna get a little better. And if you don't believe me, you can ask all the people that are on here who've been doing it from the beginning. This is our fifth week. Can you believe it? Tomorrow we're going to do hot air balloons. And I'm thinking Saturday we'll do dance since I have the ballerina. And it wouldn't, you know, again, I'll add something else. So it's not just a ballerina, we'll do a couple, but I had a lot of requests for how, you know, where that video was for that ballet slipper. And again, I had all the paint poured and I, you know, I wanted to use it and I had the ballet slipper sitting right there. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna paint this. And then I posted it. And then when they saw it, they're like, when are we doing that? I said, well, I drew it today. Pretty easy, right? Now, do you have to make your background like mine? No. You could put a baseball diamond. You could put. You could put a. A net, a field, a net. Like, what do you call those? Just a net. A goalie. I actually got that idea from someone yesterday who did the net. I was like, oh, that's a great idea. So that means you inspired me. Right? You inspired me. It's nice to be inspired by each other. So you get the idea. And then you just painting your silhouette. And again, your silhouette can be any color you want. Maybe. So here's my plate. If you want to see my plate, sometimes people like to see the plate. 
and you just paint in your silhouette. Now my paint's pretty wet. So you guys can wait patiently. I don't want to wait all day. And I lost part of my football player line over there. Maybe it, because the paint's so thick right there, I lost it. You could put the name on the jersey. Let's see, we came up with another song too. Alexa, play Final Countdown by Europe. I think that's right. You guys think of more sports songs. So I lost my line because the paint's so thick. So I'm just going to fake it. I'm just going to figure out and it's super, super thick right there. Super thick wet paint. That's why I'm getting that texture. I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen, but I'm getting a, a texture because I put the paint on so thick. And you could do this with any silhouette, anything that you like. All right, so his hand, I think his arm is here. I'm gonna wait for that. I have like a puddle of paint right there and it's pretty thick, so I have to let it dry. I'm gonna do his mask. And again, if you have little thin lines, you can always do it with marker. This part right here, I'm just gonna, ah! We are the champions. Alexa, play We Are the Champions by Queen. I don't know if the other song was over yet, but those are just some we will, we will rock you. You guys, I feel like the Browns are going to be great next season. We don't know exactly when sports will resume. We don't know when anything's going to resume. We just go one day at a time. We go with the flow. Okay. I mean, we're all in this together, you guys, the whole world. Even the Olympics were postponed. So, we just have to find different avenues of release, to relax, to enjoy life, learn a new hobby, practice your skills, paint your face, <laughs> be silly, jump around the house, dance, draw, paint, talk to your friends on the phone, FaceTime, whatever it is, whatever it is that you enjoy, bake something. I made a pot of lentil soup yesterday. It was very good. Why did I do that? Because it was so cold here. It's so cold in Cleveland. I'm waiting for spring. All right, let me see. So I'm again, I'm looking at my scribbled out artwork. I kind of lost this arm in his hand, but I'm going to fig it. Oop, man, look at him. He looks like Lobster Man. It looks like a lobster claw. So I think this part right here is a little too... Now it looks like a fish. All right. So again, I what I did was I put the paint on so thick that I'm having trouble. This is his hand down here. 
but you get it, right? You get the idea. Getting better? You get the idea, right? So that is an idea for today. So sometimes I lose track of time and I can't see the clock, but I'm standing back here. This sports squad, is that a song? And you guys that are sharing this with your friends and your school classmates and your art teacher, I love that because we've been learning about different artists. We talked about Van Gogh, Monet, Kandinsky. We did lots of different artworks of those. Um, is that it? I want, I'm going to take this down. I can put my ballerina back up. So again, we are doing this. You guys can put not just one image, you can put several. And yesterday, remember when we did the grid, we did the boxes with all the different sports. You could do the same thing with your silhouette. You could, you know, split it up into different sections and do every sport that you play. And then you can make it for your cousin in Brazil, which is, uh, one of the girls posted this morning. She made the sports artwork yesterday for her cousin in Brazil, which I thought was super cool. So again, you guys come up with your ideas, customize it make, to make it your own. Use your favorite colors, your favorite silhouettes. Uh, you can add if it's, um, you know, you can put the ball in black and white. The ball doesn't have to be in black. You can easily make the color or the uniform in your sports colors. Okay, so if you guys are all caught up, you can come on the screen. Richie's going to post the link. It'll say StreamYard, and you'll be, once you click the link, it'll bring you into the green room. The green room is a waiting room. And it allows a certain, like, six kids in there or adults at one time. And then Richie will click to bring you on the screen, and you will join me. And you can share whatever you want. i got to move this a little bit so I can see you guys. So uh, I'm just going to scoot this over a little bit because I have trouble seeing the screen when you guys come on. And I, that's my favorite part. My favorite part is seeing what you're doing. So Richie will give you the link. And then click the link. You'll come into the green room, and then Richie will bring you on the screen. So just, oh, turn your, don't mute yourself. Just turn your volume down a little bit. And I think that's it. All right, so Richie, whenever you're ready. Hey. Hi. 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 And my name's Claire. I'm from Toledo, Ohio. And here's our, my name's Miles Garrett. And this is me. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, Richie, bring somebody else on. Hi. Hi. My name is Audrey Blickman, and I'm from Ohio. This is my artwork. I like it. And this is one of my artworks that I've done in the past. And who made that? What's the artist's name? Monet. Very good. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I got to Richie, turn it up again. Richie, you take them off and on, okay? Good. Thank you. Richie. Why do I sound like that? Hey, Joe, you can help Richie, okay? You guys, Richie's doing it for some time. Hi. Hi. This is my trampoline painting that I did yesterday. And this is my gymnastics painting that I did today. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I love that. Thank that you. looks great. Thank you. I want to go on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. Richie, you're. My name is Brianna, and I'm a gymnast, and this is mine so far. Oh, I love that. Can you do that? Yeah. Joe, hold on one minute. Joe, I need you to take over the screen, okay? Joe, take over the screen, please. 
Hi, Brianna. Hi. Did you just show? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let me see. Richie, stop. Joe, can you please take over the screen? Hi, Brianna. I'm sorry. We're, tr we're trying to teach Richie how to do it. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm from um, St. Benedict. Yeah. That looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, guys. This is mine. And this is my other one I made. That looks great. Thank you. Thanks for doing this. Is this. this. You this are welcome. Wow. That looks great. Thanks for doing this. You're this welcome. is mine so far. Oh, fantastic. And this is mine. Oh, you guys, thank you. Bye. 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 Hi. Hi. This is mine. Ooh, look at that background. I love that. I'm Emory and I'm from Ohio. Awesome. From Ohio. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi. It was yesterday's one finished product. Awesome. And I haven't started my other one because I just came back from my morning walk. Good for you. It must not be snowing there, huh? Mm-mm. <laughs> no. It's just a little foggy outside and You're, cloudy. That's good. That's good. Good for you. Seven and I walked about two miles. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Thanks, hon. Bye. Bye. My morning walk. Good for you. Yeah. There, huh? yeah. it's it's just a little foggy outside and cloudy. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So I walk about two miles. Awesome. Oh, wow. Thanks, Bye. Bye. Amazing. Thank you. My morning Thank walk. You. Hi. I'm Summer from Defiance, Ohio, and I'm doing a, a girl with a volleyball, but I just started. That looks great. Take your time, okay? Two songs that you could play is from, one of them is from High School Musical. We're all in this together. And then Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Thank you. Yep. Thank you for doing this class. You're Bye. welcome. Alexa, play We're All in This Together by High School Musical. I don't know that song. Hi. Hi. I ice skate, so I'm doing an ice skating one. And then my mom's a goalie, and I'm making her a hockey one. Oh, that's awesome. Your mom's a goalie? That's so cool. Thank you for doing the you're, videos. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. So I made this picture, and this is baseball. And I made this mine, which is this one. And I'm still working on this putt putt one. Oh, I love putt putt. It's my that favorite. I I made this one. Corn up the. What in the world is that thing? That looks great. It's you guys are doing awesome. You're taking. The one's back. I love it. Thank you. This is mine. It's supposed to be a picture of Irish step of someone doing an Irish step dance. Fun. I love it. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. You got hi. Irish step dance. If you guys are doing it, I'd love it. Put musical notes Hi. in there. Thank you. Bye. This is mine. I have to do it in a two part. That's a great yeah. idea. I, I, love it. It. I did. If you guys I, are doing it, I love it. I covered Put her arm a little. Bye. This is mine. So I'm going I to have to do two part. Like, where you cover that, That's and I think I'm the know. only I one that this. has I some D.O. I, I love it. I covered her arm and a I really like this but class, this and I've been here from day one. It's awesome. Thank you. Like, You're welcome. Hi, I'm Emory, and I'm doing a pencil, and this is what I'm doing. 
ballerina. Very nice. That was Thank great. You Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it with me. Hi. Hi. This is Mom. And this is mine from yesterday's. Very nice. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Hi. I don't know. I don't know. See. Um. Hi, I'm from Enfield, Connecticut, and I made a ballerina, but I messed up because I added too much glitter on it. <laughs> but glitter is awesome. Just let it dry. Let it dry, and then you can go over it, okay? Okay. Say thank you. I'm so happy, right? You're so happy, right? I love art, and I love this. Thank you for doing it. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it with me. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. My name's Abby Fry and I'm from Medina, Ohio. Um, this is mine from today. Oh, nice. Wow. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for joining us. All right, so, oh, she's back. Let's give her a try again. I don't think she knew she was on the screen. Hi, hello. Hi. 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 This is, this is my, uh, that's me. Um, I'm playing basketball. I used to play basketball, so. That's awesome. <laughs> that looks great. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to show you my finished one. I finished her arm. And I have two arrows going through the deer, like almost, but the deer are like ghost deer. And this one's my sister's. I finished her arm. This is my sister's. And I have Thank you. Hi. Hi. Again. Addy. Um. Addy. I'm Addy. Stop. You want to show us your sisters? Is that what you want to do? My name's Gwenna. You got to get it. My name's Gwenna. Hi. Addy, come on. We're back on. We live in Tennessee. Tennessee? Did it snow there? Yeah. <laughs> My other sister wants to show hers. Okay. Hi. This one's mine. Oh, that looks great. And I have two back sides. And this one and that one. That's all I have. Fantastic. I love it. Thanks for sharing. Hi. Hi. We're from Deckerville, and Michigan. Oh, and that's mine. Yeah. And this is. Mine. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is mine finished. Very nice. Oh, I like the different poses. Thank you. Thank you. Mine. Hi. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. That's making me hungry. I can smell it. Hi. Smells like double cheese. Pepperoni. Nice. Oh, I like the different parts. Deep dish. <laughs> I'm making myself hungry. <laughs> Nothing like deep dish pizza. Hi. I don't think she knew she was back on. So anyway, that's my favorite part so much. And again, Richie, thank you so much. And Joe, there, uh, Richie's doing it for the first time. And it's, you know, just a little bit of technology and how to bring people on and uh anyways it's, it's really fun i really love doing this we go live every day monday through saturday at noon eastern standard time on youtube as well as facebook 
Artist at Heart Paint Party. You can also re-watch the videos because they're all recorded. And again, they're on the Facebook page as well as YouTube. The only ones missing on YouTube are March 16th and 17th because I didn't have an active channel yet, but it activated on the set on the 18th. So if you're looking for the very first two videos, you can find those on the Facebook page, Artist at Heart Paint Party. And let's see what else I want to tell you guys. Well, let me show you what we're doing tomorrow. So tomorrow is hot air balloon day and you can do as hot, as many hot air balloons as you want to. We got to come up with some fun songs for that. So that'll be tomorrow. What else? I love when you guys are thinking outside the box. You can add paper together to make as, your artwork as big as you want. That's an awesome idea. Just tape it together. Or maybe you create your artwork with your whole family and everyone does a section. So you can make it so that they can connect to each other. That's a great idea as well. Now, remember, when you do the silhouette, so I went really fast, but I don't expect you to go that fast. It comes out a lot better if you wait for it to dry. So if you want to try it again, to paint your whole background, let it dry, and then add your silhouette afterwards. Otherwise, you end up with it all blurring together. Hi. 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 Um, I'm, I'm still finishing right here. But take your time. Yeah, this is mine. That's awesome. I do tap, um, other dance, other stuff. dance, and ballet a little bit. So, yeah. And um, this is mine. It says gymnast and... over here because we do gymnastics and stuff. <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. Thank, Thank you. So much. Awesome art lessons. They're the best. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That looks great. I know you guys are gonna send me pictures. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Hi. Hi. This is my monster that I made. <laughs> I love it. And me and my brother were making like scratches. Scratch what you do is you take a piece of paper and like you just draw a design on it and then you cover over top of it with black paint. And um, then you take a toothpick and you scratch it off. Very cool. That sounds fun. Thank you. you can show us a picture of it when you're done with it. Okay. Thank you. You don't. That's why you need someone to tell you you're on. I'm on. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. This is my artwork I did yesterday. Very nice. It's a collage. I love the collage. That's a great idea. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. So if you guys want to collage it, again, if you don't want to trace your silhouette and you just want to cut it out, cut it out. If you want to glue things on, glue them on. It could be scraps from magazines, other pictures, anything that you want to, you can cut apart and glue on your artwork to make it a collage. You guys think outside the box. You're doing an amazing job. Anything that you have, again, I added sequins. I added glitter. I do love glitter myself. One of my favorite projects is a, it's a product called Maj Podge, but it has the glitter mixed into it. Think outside the box. And that way you don't get glitter all over your house. And it's, but it's Maj Podge, so it's a glue, but it has glitter built into it and it dries shiny and sparkly. And I love it. So uh, that's a really cool pr product if you guys have access to getting something like that. I know that they sell it at Michael's. It's non toxic and it has a little funny smell, but it is non toxic. So, anyways, that's one of my favorite products. I love using acrylic paint. Kids definitely can use temper paint, which is an opaque water based washable paint. Uh, color pencils, crayons, whatever you guys have used. And I'm so happy that you joined me today. Tomorrow, hot air balloon. We're going to come on Saturday again. And we have a couple more people down in the green room. Go ahead and bring them on. Hi. Hi. This is my picture. Wow. Nick Chubb. We're from Ohio. Mm -hmm. And... Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. This is mine, and it's supposed to be a pizza. You guys are getting me hungry. 
You're getting her hungry. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I guess it's a pizza day. I don't know. I, I was thinking that we should do a, a food day, uh, but we do this at lunch and then I see all the food and I get so hungry. But I was thinking one day we could do, uh, I didn't know pizza would be so popular. I was thinking we could do like your favorite flavors of ice cream and an ice cream cone, something like that or something else again, but that was, up up and coming we'll do that in the future but it's always fun you can think of all the different flavors of ice cream you want to have and we can paint them and pretend that we have them so anyways I, you guys did an amazing job i'm so proud of you i'm so thankful to have you pay it forward do something kind for someone clean the house that's really intended for myself and share your artwork pay it forward mail it to somebody hang it in the window of your house be safe do something productive, and I will see you guys tomorrow for our fun Friday. Fun, fantastic Friday. Thank you so much. Bye, you guys.